Hello everybody, my name is Eric the Gamer, and welcome back to World Box. So, today, uh, somebody in the comments said that if you go to the settings menu, wherever that is, I think it's right here, and you click on the burger, you get a debug menu. And now, what? And I'm gonna, like, look at it and figure out what we do with it, pretty much. I feel like this is probably a lesser, less known thing, so thank you for whoever said that in the comments. Really appreciate that. So, what we got going on here, we got Fast Spawn, Sonic Speed, Graphy. Let's check out what Graphy does. Okay, so that's the frames. That talks about frames, right? And Sonic Speed, Fast Spawn. Fast Spawn, basically, let's, what is Fast Spawn? Oh, you hold down and it spawns. Okay, that's a pretty good feature. Okay, let's see how many people we can get in one town with this. This is incredible, actually. This is awesome. So with the debug menu, you can basically super spawn everything, you can have a sonic speed, so everything goes like 20 times, maybe 40 times speed. This is actually pretty awesome. Okay, so I'm gonna go for 2,000. Why not? Hold on, first let me turn off hunger. So that way everybody doesn't instantly die. Okay, let's do that. Let's build these guys. Let's just get them up to a thousand. There we go. Let's check out some more things. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn off those because it says warrant restricted area, no boats here. Obviously, for for foreshadowing of boats. Okay, so what's up at the top here? It says cursor regions. Let's click a region. Okay, so whenever you click, it shows it. That That's pretty much all it does. So apparently the whole world is created in chunks now. Let's do islands. So that's an entire island. That's an entire island. That's an entire island. That's a pretty cool feature. We've got cursor chunk. Okay, just kind of somewhat highlights wherever you're at. It's pretty awesome. Region neighbors. So whenever you click on one, it shows the neighbors. Yeah. Okay, that makes sense. We got connections. Let's see what connections does. I'm not for sure what connections does. Okay, they got a barracks now. That's awesome. What does connections do? Maybe it just shows the world, just the edges of each border. I guess. Chunk edges. No, that's what that one does. Oh, well, no idea. It's active paths. Okay, that's that's a cool feature. So it lets you see where all the characters are planning on going, walking to the whole nine yards. Okay, that's pretty cool. What about sectors? Just apparently... These are all different sectors, it looks like. And then, path, last path. Um, okay, so this, how do they have a statue already? That's kind of, so there's random little green things. I guess it shows the, where they went to after they completed the path, I think. And then we've got path regions. Which, I don't see anything happening yet. Um, also, there's a volcano. That's a pretty nice volcano you got up there. Okay, path regions. No idea what that does. Let's do chunks. Okay, so, yeah, the whole world is displayed into chunks, just like Minecraft. I feel like that's a pretty good way of uh, doing this city's zones. I did turn off chunks, yes. 
Oh yeah, I forgot. Um, it does say that it can break, so... Probably shouldn't turn them all on at once, but I'm going to at the end and see what happens. So here it shows all the buildings in the, on the map. Pretty nice little feature there. Then we've got city places. Which shows where towns are on the whole map. Which is nice. Let's go to t Chunks Dirty. Okay, what's this do? Dirty Chunks. So it, is it just talking about chunks that are really messed up or something? Basically, the whole volcano region looks like trash, apparently. Okay, let's go to tab main. Tab main. Okay, we're already on tab main. So here we can highlight professions. So let's go ahead and do all, all of them. And then we can see what everybody's doing. There we go. Okay, that's a lot of people, first of all. Second of all, so it just highlights everybody, pretty much. It highlights all the different professions. You can do all that cool stuff. Okay, so highlight jobs. Let's, let's look at the miners. Okay, there's a couple of miners. Miners are red. Hunters are red. Is everybody red? Firemen. Okay, so there, there's a bunch of new jobs now, apparently. So we've got miner, hunter, fireman, gatherer, metal... Metal something? Metal worker? Job builder? Bob builder? I don't know. Something built... Job... Okay, builder, farmer, hunter, blacksmith, defender, and attacker. So that this menu shows... Basically all the jobs, like, highlights everybody that's in that specific profession. Other, targeted by. Okay, so that's the entrance of the houses for people to get into. That makes sense. Units inside. So there's some units inside each of the houses. That, that makes sense. We've got unit kingdoms. Which, I guess, color... Highlights them based on their kingdom color. That makes sense. Tabs units, tab system. Let's see what tab system is about. Okay, I don't want to mess with all this. This is like a uh, pathfinding, zone growth, build tick, all all the all the stuff that basically runs the whole map. So I feel like that's mostly what this does, right? So with fast spawn, sonic speed, graphy, probably something that PC people would use more often. Because for phone users, it's just kind of chilling on the corner. But if you have like two monitors, whatever, you might be able to just slide that on over to the other monitor or something. I'm not for sure. But a uh, sonic speed, it's pretty sonic. As we can see, the, the, the uh, crops are just kind of going up really fast. And everybody here has shields, for the most part. Um, just to finish off this video, we're gonna make these guys declare war on everybody. First of all, whoa. Second of all, those poor bunnies. Third of all, they just won. Okay, now let's see who's gonna win between them. There we go, good job, lads. You guys are gonna conquer that little peninsula city up there. Good job. I am proud of you guys. You just... Oh, oh no. So, instead of whenever the leader gets killed, it's whenever the entire army is destroyed. I think that's a pretty good added feature in the new update. It's pretty logical, if you ask me. Guess now the Blue Kingdom has conquered the map. Good job, guys. Solid work. Why is everybody dying? I turned off food, didn't I? Oh, it's old age. Okay, there we go. Perfect. So I think that's going to be it for this episode. So pretty much overview of the episode, I went through and did, looked at all the debug menus. New debug window. Okay, so I'm going to... Um, okay, I, I don't know how to get that off of there. I'm, I'm clicking... There we go. Okay, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. I hope it was somewhat informative. I hope you guys can all use...
the debug menu whenever you guys play. It, I feel like it makes the gameplay a lot smoother, a lot more interesting. And yeah, overall, I think it's a great feature. So anyways, I hope you guys have an amazing rest of your days. I hope you all enjoyed, and I will see you all next time. Goodbye and farewell.